In the last tip, I showed you how to use the reference option of the rotate command to set a precise angle when you didn't know your starting angle. This week, I'll show you how to do the same thing with the scale command so you can specify a precise size when you don't know the initial distance. Let's say I want each side of this triangle to be six units long, but I don't know how long it is now. The distance and dimension commands might not be precise enough, so I'll use the scale command instead. I'll select the triangle, choose one end as the base point, and enter R for reference. Next, I'm asked for reference length, which is the length of the object you want to scale. In this case, one side of the triangle. You can see that as I move the mouse, the size of the triangle changes based on the distance from the base point. I just move the mouse in the direction I want, enter 6, and the triangle is resized. You can also use the reference option when you don't know the actual final size of the object, but instead want to match it to something else. In this drawing, I have a rectangle and a triangle, and I want to make one side of the triangle equal to one side of the rectangle. I don't know the size of the rectangle or the triangle, but that doesn't matter. I'll just start the scale command, select the triangle, and pick the base point. The reference length this time is the side of the triangle, and to set the final size, I can snap to the other corner of the rectangle. For more tips like this, check back with us every week here at the AutoCAD Exchange.